this is my second time cooking juicy pot rolls so if you're watching this video that means it was a success hey guys welcome back to the channel i am so excited to invite you back into my kitchen i am cooking juicy pot rolls potatoes carrots and i'm trying to decide if i want to go with broccoli or a salad so we have to see and i'm making my famous hot water cornbread you guys have been asking me for the recipe on that cornbread since thanksgiving i've replied to some of your comments but i wanted to do the video again and show you guys how i make my hot water cornbread so if you're living in a van and you don't have an oven which most of us don't you still can enjoy cornbread and some of your other favorite oven bake um, desserts at the end of this video i am going to share um, a few clips from the previous video that you guys didn't get a chance to see when i cooked the first um, pot roast so check that out um, at the end of the video and also before I forget I have stickers for sale so most of you have purchased my um, where is Tiffany stickers I have a larger size available up on the website at www.whereistiffany.com this is a request from you guys wanting larger stickers so I do have those available for you so for those of you that have already purchased stickers thank you so much for your support it means a lot to me so yeah those are available and, and my second and sticker design is on its way so I can't wait to share that with you guys as well so without further ado let's go ahead and get started with today's cooking video For my meat I have some seasoned salt some onion powder garlic salt and garlic powder I don't want to get my hands dirty so I'm going to use my fork to kind of blend in those spices and I'm gonna work this in let me go ahead and flip it over and work on this side and then I add just a little bit more of seasoning to the other side of it Okay, so I got most of the season worked in on the other side, and I'm just going through um, working it in on the opposite side. I don't want this meat on my hand, so that's why I am using the fork, and I do not have gloves. All right, so we got that nice and seasoned. I'm going to sit it to the side while I cut up my onions. I like a lot of onions with my pot roast, so I'm using almost a half an onion for this recipe and I am going to leave them whole like so and just lay them on top of the pot roast and then I'm going to lay them underneath the pot roast. Alright. So I'm cooking the pot roast in my crock pot. So I'm cooking the pot roast in my crock pot. I'm going to cook it on high for about two hours. Okay, so I'm going to add my onions to the bottom of the pot. Get them separated. Try not to get these onions on my fingers. I was trying so hard not to touch these onions. Uh, okay, so I have the onions. Can you guys see that? I have the onions in the bottom of the pot and here is my juicy pot rolls all nice and seasoned so I'm going to add that on top of the onions set this plate to the side I'm going to add another layer of onions few more onions <laughs> just a few more okay all right so I have onions on the bottom pot roast in the middle and onions on top So when you add your water make sure that you do not cover your roast in water you only want to add about a cup 
of water. I have a small crock pot here and a small roast. My roast is about a pound. So you don't want to add too much water to your roast because it would take forever to cook. So I add about a cup of water to my roast and that's perfect. And I have enough for it to cook for at least two hours. But I'm gonna come back in an hour and a half and check on the roast and go ahead and work on the potatoes and carrot and my hot water cornbread. Take a peek at this roast. Mm -hmm. It's smelling good. I can't see it under the layers of onions, but it definitely smells good. And then I have my potatoes here that I am going to cut up as well as my carrots. So the pot roast has been cooking an hour and a half now. I'm going to go ahead and add in my brown gravy, carrots. I'm not going to add potatoes to the pot because I'm craving mashed potatoes. So I'm going to make that instead. And then I'll work on the hot water cornbread and then the dessert. I have my brown gravy here. The recipe calls for a cup of water, but because I already have water in the pot, I'm only going to add about um, one third cup of water. And that's just only to mix it up. To mix my gravy up before adding it to my roast, because um, they give me a chance to blend it up well um, so that there's not any lumps in it. So I have the gravy in the pot, and here I have about one-third cup of water. Once it's all blended and there's no lumps, I go ahead and add it to the roast. I'm going to go ahead and mix that up. I moved the crock pot over so that I have room to prep. Uh oh, <laughs> there went my carrot. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut up the carrots and add those to the pot. And they only should take about 20 minutes to cook. I'm cutting the carrots slow because I'm trying not to rock my camera. My van is not leveled. So everything is kind of rolling or rocking. <laughs> So I cut, slice my carrots up um, so that it doesn't take too long to cook. All right, so the carrots are done. I'm gonna add that to my pot and then I'm gonna work on those potatoes. Okay, so I'm going to place the lid back on this and let it cook for about 20 minutes. And you can see that the gravy is already starting to thicken up some. And it adds so much more flavor um, to the roast. Okay, all right. 20 minutes. I love my uh, knife set. There's a link in the description box if you guys are interested in this knife set. Um, it is Cuisinart. I've had them for a few years now. And I love them. A nice um, set of knives. They cut really well. So there's a link in the description box if you're interested. When I cooked my last pot roast, I was in Texas. Guys, it was hot. Um, it was mid-May. I think it was already up to 80 degrees. The mosquitoes were swarming and biting. <laughs> just the heat so that's why I didn't get a chance to finish the video but so I'm happy that the temperatures are much cooler here I am now on the east coast and when I was up in New York the weather was perfect so I was there I left the day after Memorial Day and there was a few days that it was in the 40s and then one day it got up to or a couple of days it got up to the 60s Let's get that out of the way, which was nice. And then when I came further east, <laughs> there was a heat wave, and I didn't think I was going to make it. I honestly thought about turning around and driving to Oregon, uh, or at least Colorado, but I think Colorado got hit with a heat wave as well. But this week, the temperatures have been much pleasant. 
yesterday it didn't even get up to the 60s today it got up to 70 but I could still feel the cool air and it was cool enough that I could cook and so at the end of this video I talk about um, how hot it was in Texas and cooking with this crock pot it does warm up the van and I made the mistake of not leaving the windows open I didn't even think about it I did not think about it and opened the door the heat hit me and I was just done like it zapped all of my energy I couldn't film that it was just so hot that you just didn't want to do anything but cool down I'm not a summer person at all and so from my understanding is that it gets pretty warm up here on the um east coast the northeast coast and i thought it was going to be nice and cool because last summer i spent most of my summer on the east coast um washington and oregon and i went over to montana which the weather was perfect at that time so it was nice and pleasant i think it got up to maybe around 70 degrees on that coast in the area that i was in which is I'm not a summer person i don't do well in the heat so right now the temperatures is very pleasant i think tomorrow is getting up to the 70s and then it's dropping back down to the 60s so i hope i can make it for at least three more weeks before i head back west but cannot handle um I just I can't handle the heat I don't do well in the heat so yeah all right so I got my potatoes cut up I'm going to go ahead and add those to the pot let them cook for about 20 minutes while I work on the cornbread so I decided to cook some broccoli and I just added in with my potatoes okay so I'm gonna let them cook together because I need my other burner for the cornbread and then add in my water okay. all right so I'm gonna let that cook and then start on my cornbread I'm using one box of Jiffy cornbread so the recipe on the box costs one egg and one third cup of milk okay so I'm following the directions precisely on the box I'm adding in one third cup of milk Have you guys made hot water cornbread before? If so, comment below and let me know how you make yours. And who taught you the recipe? So I'm just mixing it up and just a reminder if you want to use the direction, you want to follow the direction precisely as it is on the box. So on the Jiffy box, it calls for one box of cornbread, one egg, and one third cup of milk. So making hot water cornbread is a lot like cooking uh, pancakes. So you can cook your pancakes. I normally cook my pancakes with butter. Um, with the cornbread, I cook it with oil. So I'm just going to give that a minute to heat up and then I will um, share the rest of the instructions. I love cooking cornbread on top of the stove. I did it in my sticks and bricks home, especially in the summer months when I didn't want to heat up the house by turning on the oven. I would just cook my cornbread on top of the burner and it tastes great. I actually like it um, better fried than I do baked in the oven. So give it a try and let me know how you like it. All right, I think our, yep, the grease is ready. So let me go ahead and add in my mix. I'm going to add a spoonful of cornbread. You don't want it too thick. So that should be enough. And then I am going to cover it. This lid goes to my, uh, to my small pot, but it works for this. So I'm going to cover it and let it cook for about three to five minutes on both sides. My potatoes and broccoli is done, so I'm going to remove the broccoli, set it to the side so I can work on my mashed potatoes. And with the lid on the cornbread, it allow it to rise. So you definitely wanna make sure that you cover your cornbread. Try to get the broccoli out without mixing it with my mashed potatoes. 
Let's see how well I do. I may need a different, let me go with something different. Maybe I need to pick it up instead of trying to scoop it out. Okay. Oh yeah, this works better. Much better. The sizzling sound is me wasting this broccoli water on my on my skillet. That's a lot of broccoli. I'm trying to get in my green vegetables. So I will be eating on this for a couple of days. So I got most of the broccoli out of the mashed potatoes. If there's some still in it, it's okay. I'm going to just set this to the side for a minute. That works. And then I need to drain the water off of my potatoes. I'm going to check on my cornbread. See how it's looking. Yep, it is done. A little too done. <laughs> ah, I made it too big. Mm. It's going to be a mess. Ah, okay. I made it a little too big, guys, that I was almost not able to uh, flip it over. So next time, I'm not going to put as much in the pan. All right. So let's get started on these mashed potatoes. So I drained the water off of my potatoes. There's still some broccoli in it, but that's okay. So I just want to smash it up. I like my mashed potatoes to be chunky. So I am not going to smash them up too much. So that's about it. I had to keep an eye on this cornbread to make sure I don't burn it. I get to talking to you guys and not paying attention to what I'm doing. Let's see. Okay. And he cooked just a little bit longer. Alright. So for my mashed potatoes, I am because I'm making garlic cheesy mashed potatoes, I'm adding in some garlic salt. And that's just about one teaspoon of garlic salt. And I'm going to set that to the side for just a second while I take care of this cornbread because I do not want to burn it. Mm. Yummy. And set this to the side. Uh oh. It's alright. Bump the camera. So back on these potatoes. I'm going to add in my sour cream. And I have about a half a cup of sour cream that I'm adding in. I'm going to blend in the sour cream. And now the cheese. And I have about a half a cup of cheese. So two potatoes. One teaspoon of garlic salt, a half a cup of sour cream, and a half a cup of shredded cheese. And a taste test. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Okay. All right. Set those taters to the side. Put the lid on it. <laughs> okay, my cornbread swelling up like a balloon. Uh oh. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to let my cornbread finish cooking. I have my broccoli to the side here. Mashed potatoes is done. And my roast and carrots are done. Alright guys, so this is it. I have my hot water cornbread, roast, garlic mashed potatoes, carrots, and my broccoli, which I cooked the life out of. I was talking to you guys and not paying attention and overcooked my broccoli. But it still tastes delicious. That's it. 
So here's the dessert that I'm going to make. I don't know if you guys have are familiar with these or not, but they are mug treats. This one here is by Betty Crocker. Um, you cook it in a mug. It's really easy. It only takes about a minute to cook. So I'm going to make that along with, and I'm going to add some walnuts to it. Okay, so this dessert is so quick and easy to make. I'm going to add my water to the cup. So it recommends that you cook it in a coffee mug. All right. So I added my water. Now my brownie mix. And this also comes in a cake. I like the brownies better than the cake. For whatever reason. Look at me making a mess. I'm tired. My energy is leaving me. All right. So I'm just going to stir that up with my little measuring, measuring spoon. Okay. I like to add nuts to mine, so I'm going to add some walnuts. And then stir it one last time. Yep. And you cook it for one minute. Uh, oh, that's not what I want. Okay. So the recipe calls for one minute and 10 seconds. I am cooking mine for one minute and 20 seconds. And it's done. I have my topping here that I'm going to drizzle on top. So I try to spread the chocolate out the best way that I can. <laughs> Before I get started, I just want to mention that there are some clips that I'm going to put at the end of this video. So there's ah, ton twisters today. <laughs> All right. So at the end, <laughs> get it together, Tiffany. Get it together. Okay. I am so excited about today's video. I am glamping with a group of friends and I'm cooking. So I wanted to do a recipe that would be easy where I can hang out with my friends and cook at the same time. So I am going to make a pot roast with potatoes, carrots, and I think I'm gonna have some green beans for the side and I'm gonna make a banana pudding. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the roast started and then I am going to head over to my friend's campsite where I usually spend the day and just enjoy their company. So yeah, I get to cook and I get to craft today. Today's a good day and I'm so excited. I'm gonna cook my pot roast in my little slow cooker here. It's a pretty big pot roast, so I'm gonna cut it up into three sections and then just freeze the other section and save it for a later date. Just have a small section here that I'm going to season and throw it in a crock pot. Okay. I wanna show you guys this view. And as you can see, the lake is flooded. Do you see that picnic bench? underwater it is flooded bad i'm headed down the street just a few sites over i got a fly that just flew in the van and so i'm trying to get him out because i don't want it in my van it's already getting hot out here let me not complain it is summer or is it summer close to summer it feels like summer is 80 degrees 80 degrees in Texas people 80 degrees okay this fly is bugging and every time one fly out two fly in this is why I never use my side door I shouldn't have opened this door if you guys notice I always enter through the driver's door he's just flying around on everything okay let me get off here to get rid of this fly fighting flies in the Texas heat is no fun no fun 
Okay. I just wasted about 20 minutes trying to get that fly out the van. Right, let me show you a better view of the lake. And there's been a lot of rain. So now it's flooded. Look at those sites. They're all flooded. And a lot of people cancel their reservations because it's supposed to rain this weekend. But I was coming out. It didn't matter if it was raining or not. I still was coming. So I have my little portable fan. I just threw some stuff in here. But I have my portable fan, some paints, and then I got my hat in case I get too hot. I have a few uh, canvas boards because I don't know if I'm going to paint on canvas or not. So I brought my canvas boards, but I do plan on painting a few terracotta pots I thought would be fun. So I'm going to do that and then just relax. That's all I want to do. Relax. So I got here yesterday, Thursday, and I'm here until Sunday. I didn't do anything yesterday. I had a friend that stopped by to visit, so I hung out with them. And that's about it. So, I see you guys when I get to my friend's site. I'm not gonna make it this summer. Oh my God, the heat, <laughs> the mosquitoes. I'm not gonna make it. So I got down to my friend's site, sat there for a minute. I almost got ate alive from mosquitoes. I thought they only come out at night. But the Texas mosquitoes proved me wrong. They're out all day. And I'm thinking that they're worse because this lake flooded. I'm sure they're out there breeding. Oh my goodness. And the mosquitoes are so big. I'm exaggerating. They're the size of a dime. They're so big. <laughs> they, I think they are about the size of a dime. They are big. Anyways, so I made it back to the van and I was smelling my pot roast as I was walking up to the van. It smelled so delicious. I wanted to finish cooking the rest of the food on camera but when I stepped in this van it was hot and I mentioned to you guys before that if I have on the air conditioner like I do now I'm up in the front cab so you really can't hear it but if I'm back in that kitchen it's really loud so if I turned on the air conditioner you wouldn't have been able to hear me so and would have been hot I had no choice but to turn on the air conditioner and crank it up on high so I went ahead and cooked the rest of uh, the pot roast I went ahead and cooked the rest of the pot roast and I didn't film it for you guys I'm sorry not everything goes according to plan yeah and I didn't even get a chance to so I cleaned out my container sorry about my feet <laughs> container here so you can see a little bit better I have my canvas boards and I didn't even take my off I didn't think about it because I didn't think that mosquitoes came out during the daytime I thought it was a nighttime thing I was wrong the pot roast is done and I guess let me get up this seat is awfully comfortable I finally cooled down when I said I was hot I was really hot and I'm not gonna make it in this heat this summer hopefully it's cooler on the East Coast I don't have on any lights because I'm trying to keep the van uh, pretty cold let's see I was planning on Okay. So it's done. My potatoes is done. I turned it off. I just had the lid, the lid on it to keep it warm. I was planning on making some hot water cornbread. I made a banana pudding, but it was too hot. Too hot. Like I didn't feel like <laughs> I didn't feel like turning on no camera. I didn't feel like setting up any tripods. I just couldn't do it. So, so this summer. Um, I plan on doing more cookie meals. It just won't be in the crock pot. Unless I started at 6 o'clock in the morning and done by 8 or 9 o'clock. But it's not going to work. So back to cooking on the stove. I don't know. We shall see. But that air feels good now. My friends went out to eat. And I didn't know they were going out to eat or I wouldn't have cooked. But they went out to eat. So I'm waiting for them to come back. 
and they're trying to get me out on the boat. <laughs> uh, fun fact about me, I don't know how to swim. Yeah, I love water, but I don't know how to swim. And they're trying to get me out on the boat, so I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I just want to sit here and craft. Yeah. And I'm just sit here and enjoy this air conditioner. And then head outside. Sorry guys, I really want to cook something nice for you guys in the crock pot. It's just too hot. I do like my view. This water is very peaceful. Oh, for those of you that missed my live, I got my windshield fixed. I'm happy about that. I think I'm going to sit here and I think I'm going to draw something. Yep, I'm going to draw something. Because they're still out eating. And they should be back soon while I'm sitting here. I'm going to sketch out some. These are the little terracotta pots that I wanted to paint. So I think I'll put the white coat on it, the base coat. And then hopefully I can get it painted tomorrow. We'll see. Man, I wanted to throw it down for you guys in this kitchen. This, this heat won't let me be great. And it ain't even summertime yet. It won't let me be great. So sorry guys.